there YouTube, this is SGM 4306 back with another video. This time I have a package. This is another repair since you guys have uh, been eating up the past few, um, you know, game console repairs. This is not a game console, but this is a retro audio related. So let's just pop this open. I'm going to quickly open this off camera so that I don't reveal anyone's address. Okay, so here we go. Very well wrapped. And within the bag is another bag, and within that bag is yet another bag. <laughs> just, just watch, I open this all up and it's just bag upon bag upon bag. Oops. Okay, and here we go. It is a Sony Walkman F1, which is um, the FM radio version of this. They also made a version that um, does not have the radio. But yeah, you can see here, apparently uh, this does not work. And okay, it has some batteries inside. Let's just uh, give it a try. So I'll open this up, see if it'll... Okay, so the spindle does turn. Is there no auto off on this unit? Because it's uh, normally Walkmans, if uh, you get to the end of the tape, the spindle stops moving, obviously, and uh, it should kick the unit off. But um, I can feel that there's not nearly enough torque. I can actually stop it pretty easily with my finger. So the belt is minimally working and I can feel the uh, capstan roller spins as well but it seems like it's pretty worn and pretty old so we're gonna have to actually replace the belt likely to get this um, the torque increased enough to the point where it can play a tape I believe that's um, one of the things that um, the owner said was um, it just can't play a tape like it, it can't spin it up before I get too far into this, I just want to give a shout out. This was actually sent in by um, a viewer, Natalie, and her son, Samuel. And um, he wants to get into some retro audio. So what better way than getting a vintage, uh, beautiful Sony Walkman like this? Uh, so definitely um, huge kudos to them for sending this in for repair. And I'm going to get this back to them as soon as possible. Hopefully we can fix it in this video. But uh, without further ado, let's uh, tear into this guy. So first thing we're going to do is remove the batteries, and it takes four of them, so look at that. going to set this aside. Uh, we have one, two screws that I see, um, one on the bottom there, another one here, and that's about it. So let's just get into this. Okay, so it's starting to give, but um, the jacks here are holding it, so we're going to have to remove it from this side first and then kind of lever it out towards that direction so it can clear the jacks. But we are going to be super careful. Um, hopefully there's not maybe a clip or something on this side. Yeah, the contacts can use a bit of a cleaning here. But, uh, it's not that bad. Okay. Yeah, they're little clips. There we go. We can uh, wiggle wiggle this out. And there we go. Not too dirty. Um, just set that aside. And here, yeah, you can see that belt. So, let's see how, for lack of a better word, flaccid that belt is. It luckily hasn't, hasn't started turning to, to goo, uh, but I'm going to remove that right now um, just to, to make sure that it doesn't get any worse. Uh, looks like I'll need a flathead. Put this up. And uh, fish this bell out. Okay, yeah, so it's not that confusing. It basically routes um, past this idler, which I believe 
No, okay, that does not link directly to the cap stand. It's just an idler. And then it goes around this flywheel. Um, looks like this this unit has um, rubber uh, sort of wheels that engage. Um, yeah, you can see it presses against the uh, flywheel there. So that's how it actually transfers motion from the, the motor to the to the capstan flywheel and then through the, rec the rest of the mechanism uh, when you press fast forward, rewind, or play. Uh, but we are going to need to replace this. Another good sign that your belt is going is when you remove it and it, it doesn't go into a nice circular or oval shape. If it retains like these kinked areas, you can tell your belt, belt is on its way out and it just feels different. This part actually feels okay, but this part's starting to like petrify. It's starting to get hard. So we're going to find um, as close of a replacement as we can to this, and uh, I'll reinstall that right now. Okay, and I'm back, and I grabbed my Bago belt. Um, I bought this off eBay. It's one of these belt kits. It has several different sizes, and I'm just going to pull all them out and search for one that'll fit. You're going to want the belt to actually be a little smaller than the original so that it's a little tighter. You can see this might be a good fit. Uh, it's a little bit smaller, but it'll stretch to the correct size. You can kind of feel the tension um, once it's installed to decide if it's correct or not. So we are going to start threading it. Get it on here. And we're going to want to work it uh, to get, if it's kinked, get it uh, situated correctly. You don't want the belt twisted. Okay, so it works, but... I had to actually use a slightly tighter belt. Um, this one had way too much wobble. I think it was because it was just a little bit too loose and maybe there's um, the cut of the belt wasn't so great. But I um, increased the tension on the belt. I used a smaller one, just a little bit smaller. Okay, so I pretty much went through and um, the various rubber wheels in here, there's one, two, and then another one further back which drives um, the right hand spindle. Um, I actually used a Q-tip and some uh, isopropyl alcohol. You have to be really careful if you put too much and um, you let it dry on it, it'll actually dry out the rubber. So you just want to put a tiny little bit on a Q-tip and then spin the wheels with something like a pair of tweezers carefully to quickly um, rub off any kind of dirt or grime that built up and then switch to the other end of the Q-tip and immediately wipe off any excess alcohol so it does not dry out the rubber too much. Uh, so I did that to clean up all of the, um, the these little rubber spindles. And uh, one thing that was an issue that I was having is um, the tape was actually getting stuck and spooling out the tape out the top. Uh, but when that happens, that basically means that um, the two spindles, like it, it, if you're fast forwarding or rewinding or whatever, maybe one is getting stuck or going at a different speed than the other. So it'll actually, you know, kick out the tape or could be, um, so it could actually be this guy here or the uh, pinch roller, the rubber part or whatever. So I pretty much gave everything a clean and uh, got it fully working now. Um, the speed uh, difference I noticed, I think was... Um, Maybe one of the wheels was slipping or something like that um, for these kind of, I guess you'd call this like a rubber wheel, whatever drive mechanism. If any of them slip, um, that could cause um, any type of wobble or uh, speed issues in terms of playing because it's not spinning at the speed it's supposed to be. Uh, so once I cleaned all that, it sounds pretty good to me now. So we're just going to button this guy up. And, um, yeah, so it's going to be, let's see, got to line up the holes for the headphone jacks. And also there's a, um, a catch that has to go in there 
as well. So uh, let's see, actually, <laughs> before I do that, let me not forget to put this guy in. So yeah, this is the, the little cover. And um, unless things absolutely need lubrication, I would advise against uh, randomly lubricating things. It seemed pretty good, actually. This unit was taken care of pretty well. Um, so there wasn't that much issue um, in terms of the lubrication. And it wasn't too dirty. Um, there is a little bit of grime in this unit. Uh, so I only cleaned off the parts that you know really contribute to the mechanical system, those little wheels. Okay, now this is on, so these um, can't pop off again. Now let's fit this on. And there are little catches in the back. Okay, so now it's just a matter of putting these screws back in. There we go. So let's just put some batteries in and uh, give this guy another test. So uh, let's fast forward, rewind, yeah, seems to work just fine. Now hopefully you guys will be able to hear, but um, Can't play too much of this, unfortunately, because it is copyrighted. But anyway, yeah, it works. And the eject mechanism does actually eject the disc. And there we go. We are good to go. So let me just rewind this tape so it's ready for the next time. So yeah, good to go. And um, all it really needed was a new uh, belt. The other belt that drove um, this little spindle here was nice and tight, so that was good. Uh, it was just the main drive belt starting to get a little crusty, and you can see the shape is deformed. Now, what I do eventually want to try is um, apparently you can rejuvenate these belts. I was uh, watching another YouTuber. I believe his uh, YouTube channel name is 12 Volt Bids, and he does retro repairs like this all the time. And he said that um, an old trick is to put this in a glass of water and you microwave it for a short while and it actually uh, makes a rubber soft again and pliable. Uh, so I'm going to have to give that a try. But anyway, for now, this unit is good to go. So yeah, all in all, uh, not a terrible fix. Um, if you guys have old Walkmans like these, uh, you just need to be a little bit careful and having uh, the right size screwdriver and um, like thin needle nose pliers. Uh, really helps, um, especially with the belt, fitting a new belt and whatnot. And uh, yeah, uh, all you really need is some batteries and a, uh, a cassette tape to actually test these guys. So yeah, anyway, um, if you guys are interested, I do have some more um, other retro audio tech stuff that I could um, show off and or do some maintenance and repair on. Anyway, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and huge thanks to uh, Natalie and Samuel, her son. Um, for sending this guy in for repair and I'll get this guy uh, this guy back to you uh, within a week. Uh, I'm just going to do a little bit more testing to make sure that um, the belt you know doesn't stretch anymore and wow and flutter is still okay after a couple hours of use. Anyway hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.